So I'm going to try it again. Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about how to add an applique to a design that you might already have. And so if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and pop onto my Floriani workspace. And the first thing I'm going to show you is um, just how the applique tool works. And you probably already know that you need an artwork shape and I'm just going to go ahead and make a little bit of a sort of an oval with my, you know, ellipse tool. And when I select that, I can come down to the bottom and click right here on the applique tool. So you can quickly convert artwork into applique. And if you have, um, you can draw your own, you know, you can use the pencil. And when you use the pencil, there are a variety of modes of drawing, but today we'll just use the first, the kind of basic one called line, which is basically where you click to draw the shape. And you can just click around to draw any shape you want. If you hold down your control key, it will smooth your lines. If you don't hold down control, it leaves them kind of like straight lines. And when you right click, you drew a vector line. And so we can create our own artwork shapes just by click, 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 clicking. And then when we right click, we've drawn the shape and we select it with our select tool. And when we look down at the bottom, there's the applique tool. Now, the only question is, do you want to close the shape? Because I didn't draw the closing line. And you can actually, a lot of times when people draw artwork for applique, what they end up doing is, they try to close the shape by clicking, but in in the end, you just really make two points that are really close together. And the best way to make, you know, that close is actually to not close it at all, leave it open, you know, let's say it was a triangle, leave that last line out, just right click, and then select your shape. And there's a tool here called close shape. Now you kind of have a perfect shape that, because what will happen is if I do my applique for this shape, all four corners kind of get treated the same. Whereas here, this corner, one, number one, might end up being a little bit different than the other two. Can you kind of see that? And so that's my first tip. If you're drawing applique, don't try and draw the shape closed. When you draw it, just go around the shape. And when you get to the end, right click and leave it open. And then when you select it, use the tool for closing the shape. And that will make it, you know, a united kind of singular shape. Now you click on your applique tool. Now for adding an applique to an existing embroidery design, you might look to your properties box where you have a lot of settings. And the first setting is the type of stitch and you can do a satin cover stitch. You could do a blanket cover stitch, which gives you more of that handmade look. You can do a motif cover stitch and choose from just you know, hundreds of different motif patterns that you could use to outline your motif or your applique, sorry. Um, and another option would be to not even have a cover at all. See here where it says sew finish, you know, sew tack down, sew placement. These are, you know, do you want to include it? Check marks. If I uncheck sew finish and click apply, now we have an applique that just has the first two steps, but not the third step. And so that's kind of the cool thing about applique is that there's a lot of really great ways to customize it. And um, another thing, notice in this properties box, there's actually two tabs that say applique. The first one is your applique tab and that's your main settings, but there's also the applique extra tab where you can fine tune the placement line and the tack down line. And so a lot of times I'll use a double run for my tack down. It just makes it a little bit stronger for doing your embroidery. And um, you have special settings here, like if you wanna offset your placement line, which notice it's currently set at zero, which means the placement line will be exactly the artwork shape that you drew. But notice the double run tack down is half a millimeter set to the inside of it. And you can kind of see that. You know, if you wanted, if you know, that's nice because the first step of the applique is going to be the, to tell you where to place the fabric. And then the second step of the applique is to the run stitch that captures the fabric and then you can trim around the outside. And so sometimes we move that just to the inside, but 
it's not required. And if you can easily adjust this, just come to your properties box, come to the applicate extra, and then turn it to zero. And that will make the lines exactly the same line. So you have all kinds of control. And so the question was how to add an applique to an existing embroidery design. So if you open up a design and perhaps we'll just clean up our workspace and look to our um, free monthly designs for something that you might want to add an applique to. I had my eye on um, a turkey from November 2022, there was a design that's like a one color turkey design and it seems like it would be perfect to fill it in with a fabric, you know, and do an applique. Um, if you did an applique, maybe you would want to do, you know, you could customize it. You could do two appliques, one for the eyes, or you could do three appliques, one for the feathers, one for the body, you know, and if it's up to you, if you just want one, so really, the, the the I think the question people have is they understand that, you know, you can select a shape and then convert it to applique. And so they're looking for the shape to convert into applique. But really, this design, well, first of all, it's, it's going to be all grouped together. So why don't we uh, select it and then click on the ungroup tool to uh, make it individually selectable. So now you can, you know, click on a piece to see how this design is made. and you know, all of these borders are kind of perfect for surrounding the applique fabric. You know, we don't need to make a, a border to add an applique. The borders are there. But what we don't have is the actual shape of the applique fabric. And so I think this is where my point came in that in the beginning is you can just use your pencil and then use the existing stitches as the artwork. So some tips on that. The first thing would be, I'm only zoomed in 146% right now. And if I get even one click closer, like let's say 300%, look how much more accurate I can be when I draw my line. So you basically come up and you click on your pencil to start drawing um, artwork. And then I'm just gonna sort of choose a place on my design to click to get started. And I'll just naturally draw down the middle of these lines. Um, you're, if you're good, drawing down the middle is good, you know, imagine fabric on this side, no fabric on the outside, but you know when you trim fabric that sometimes it's hard to trim really close to your run stitch. So it's not wrong if you're going to draw this to kind of draw it along the inner edge, you know, as opposed to saying getting really close to the outer edge, knowing that you're going to have fabric on the outer edge that you'll want to then trim. And so you just click, click, click to draw the shape that you really want to have that doesn't exist. You know, you have the design, everything else is there. You don't need artwork or anything. The stitches that are here can kind of become my artwork. So notice how, as I go around, um, I'll just describe the clicks, okay? So when, let me move my screen over. Um, so I'm going to hold down my control key to get a curved line but here and i'm going to hold my control right to the corner so that it curves my line all the way to here now the next point after the corner i don't hold control down that says never curve this point here now when i go to the next point i can hold control again because holding control will always curve backwards from the point you make to the previous one backwards to a third one. So that's how you can make curve, curve, holding control all the way to the corner. And then it's the first click after the corner that I don't need to hold control down. And so you can see here, we're kind of halfway and notice that I'll stop and nudge with my arrows. And that's not wrong, but because I'm so zoomed in, I, ha I, I can't see all of the design at one time. And so, um, but I also wanted to say that I have, and this is an option that I like, um, it's called auto panning. And so notice that when I get anywhere near the edge of my screen, it just starts moving for me. I don't even have to nudge it. So when I'm digitizing, that's really convenient because I can, you know, if I get close to this edge, it'll move that way. You know, and, I, and if I pull away, it'll, it'll, if I get close to that edge, it'll move that way. But if I pull back, it, it'll stop. And if I come over here, I can make it move that way. So what I like about that is when I get so zoomed in like this, I don't have to continually look for those arrow keys 
to nudge the artwork. I can just get close, let it move it for me, and then pull back and then do my digitizing. So um, this is me doing what you could kind of consider kind of manual. Um, I don't like that last point. I'm just going to hit backspace because remember it's fabric trivers. So come to the inside, you know, you're, if it was a fill embroidery, I might be the opposite trying to put my points to the outside, but I know how hard it is to trim. I've done a lot of appliques and it's, you know, depending on what fabric it is, I can only kind of trim so close to that run stitch. So I'm just drawing the shape of the applique that would be needed to add an applique to this design. And so you can see we've gone kind of around the horn now. I'm now drawing kind of like the second side. I'll try and go a little faster. I'll have to be honest, it takes a few moments to draw a big shape like this, you know, maybe a minute or two. It takes a little less time if you're not sort of like trying to also think about what you're saying while you're talking and, you know, recording. But the idea is... Um, yeah, it, to add an applique to a design like this might just take me five minutes maximum kind of thing to draw. And only because the shape was so uh, long, you know, that not all of them have as many feathers as this one does. <laughs> um, just kind of a joke. But so as you can see, I'm getting close to the top again. Let's um, look for it here. Yeah, see, that's where I started. So you can kind of see me coming around the horn here. And I'll just um, draw the last few curves of the design. So I think holding the control key down is really important because I get nice, smooth lines. Um, this is where I was saying earlier about don't close the shape. Don't try and draw the last point. Just right click and then select your shape and um, click on the close shape tool and that will close the artwork for you um yeah so now we've drawn the artwork sort of shape that we need to fill in notice it's a piece of art of artwork and if i click on fill it'll it'll make it solid red or if we make it um its own color for example let's pop up a color from the color palette and just make it like a oh well, maybe an orange or something like that so um now the artwork that we drew, that's the shape of our applique fabric, right? And notice that it's at the end of our sequence, so it's kind of like covering up the whole design. But you know that that's going to go to the beginning, right? We'll sequence that in a moment. But before we do, let's just go ahead and select that piece of artwork and convert it into an applique, just like we did earlier, and see how it automatically puts a finish on it. Well, we don't really need the, the cover stitch. There was a built-in cover stitch in the design. We're just trying to add the first two colors, so we simply leave off the finish and click Apply, which means you have those two run stitches, which are kind of perfectly placed along the inside edge of your you know, satin border. And so really now all we need to do is um, resequence so we could take our applique and click on the move to first, which will make that be the first thing that sews. And so if you watch the design stitch out, it would start out with a run stitch, you know, to go around the kind of inside of the shape and it would stop. And the machine would allow you to place your fabric down. And then it would do the second run stitch around the outside. Um, I noticed that it put them both in yellow. And um, I can fix that. Uh, because if I see in the sequence view, it says it's an applique and it's got a small plus beside it. And if I click on that plus, I can see the two colors. There's the first one. Let's. I normally do my appliques with the first color being red, just as a habit. So I'll make my first color red. And then I normally do my appliques with the second color being green, which here's a green here, just as a habit. So I always kind of know, and if I did, if there was two appliques in the design, I would probably do red, green, and then, you know, red, green, repeat. So I would know that red was always the first color of an applique and green was always the second. You can do them however you want, but the point is now we've added the applique into this design. You could do, uh, display fabric in your applique just to show you what it looks like. Select the applique shape, look in your properties box and notice the button that says fabric. Well, um, I can choose from my fabric list, but I can also click on the palette and just choose a color for it. So if you just wanted to put kind of a, imagine that this was my fabric color. See, when I clicked on the color, it says, what do you want that to be? Color one, color two, or the fabric color. 
So if I choose fabric color, then it will display that. So now you can see we've added in um, an applique to this design. And really applique is a very cool tool with a lot of great settings. And so we hope you enjoyed today's video about the um, applique. And until next week, have a great day. Thanks for listening and bye for now.